Raja, it's me again. A critic artist, unschooled Conrad Nicholas Mayer. As you can see, the brickwork here, a bit of a lattice work there, a window, and uh, you see there's, there's a bit of paint from my fingers. It's been varnished, and a bit of pencil to highlight for my lack of technique. Because uh, I just use uh, paint that uh, the cheapest paint that I could find. This is wall paint. Now, what I want to talk about today is the board. Now, this is masonite. Uh, no, this is uh, plywood, three millimeter plywood. It's actually not good enough. It bends and so on. I've got to reinforce it at the back. Now, this what I like to do. Now, this is a piece of uh, veneer. Now, when I was taking the veneer off, I, I obviously, I obviously stabbed it over there underneath. But what I do is this, and I like these cracks. You see, it adds to uh, character. Now, paint on top of this, but I fix that, and I, I try to keep this. Uh, the old veneer as long as possible and as natural as possible but I fill these cracks and I, I glue this to a board you see because uh, to me it, it's about uh, the what I say when I paint not what I've done you see that's where I'm coming from so the oldest piece of board that I can possibly find as flat and as clean as possible is what I want to use because what I want to say the backdrop is vital you see if I had a 2022 year old plank uh, to me I'm telling you I, 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 I'd paint some kind of a crucifixion you see and then I could understand it but uh, I'll fix this, I'll fix this, make it nice, stick it to a board, and uh, make it clean and respectable. No spitting on the back or uh, rubbing fetus on and wiping it off with uh, either turpentine or, or thinners or uh, pins or stuff like that. Keep away from that. Uh, you know, medieval painters, uh, I think they got into a bit of that. You know, the better ones, you know, I won't name people like uh, Leonardo and them early in the morning when they uh, are unsure and uh, look at their paintings and see all the mistakes. It makes them uh, insecure and then they might have done something like that. I don't say they did, but I'm saying someone along the line could have done that. And one of the top uh, ten uh, painters that are so renowned today they could have been getting up to some hokey pokey there with their canvases or even with their paints you see or perhaps they bought paints and someone was getting hokey pokey with the paints and they painted unwittingly with a bit of something in their paints you know you, you get where I'm coming from so clean and respectable is where I'm coming from and then I'm going to paint something on here I've got two of these I'm going to paint something on here and something on somewhere else, another piece like this, and, and try to tell you something that you don't understand. Okay, uh, please subscribe and uh, leave a comment.